Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video, and today we're going to be talking about why Leviathan may actually be returning this year. I know I made a video already on Wrath of the Machine returning this year, and I still think that Wrath of the Machine is a very possible one, or a very possible raid that is going to return. However, I feel like Leviathan is more... I, I don't know if that makes sense. It's more reasonable if they brought back leviathan just you know looking at the story and i know that you know legend raids and like stuff like that when they bring it back it has nothing to do with the story at all and i completely understand that however they did bring back king's fall with witch queen considering that you know savathun is oryx's sister i think it would make sense to bring back leviathan for lightfall because it seemed like the main antagonist for lightfall was callous so we already have a lot of like you know hints and whatnot to what raid is coming out and specifically you know wrath of the machine with the new um outbreak perfected ornament called archon prime if you didn't know the final boss in wrath of the machine his name is axis or he or she we don't really have a gender for it However, you know, um, their title of an enemy is the Archon Prime. And, you know, I feel like Leviathan is a very plausible raid to be brought back. I mean, it's fun. It was it was a fun raid. It was the first raid for Destiny 2, to be fair. So I feel like, you know, they should do it a little credit and, you know, bring it back because it was fun. A lot of people did enjoy it. And I'm sure people would be hopping on this raid instantly as soon as it comes out. Like, day one, people would be doing this raid. But w the same thing with Wrath the Machine. Like, what are they going to do for the exotic? Because in Wrath the Machine, um, the exotic you got from it was Outbreak Prime. And that was through a quest, right? But they would be bringing... They would have to bring a new weapon, you know, through the raid. Because they're not just going to make outbreak prime in destiny 2 considering we already have outbreak perfected so with leviathan what are they gonna do um i mean like if we got leviathan back i'm sure they could make a a new exotic for us which they probably will do maybe some sort of like <laughs> a shotgun or something. or maybe like callus's weapon he uses in um the end of lightfall the darkness shooter gun thing um that turns the swords that could be a cool ass exotic I and mean, then like you and split it into two blades and use it against enemies i mean that i think that'd be pretty fun in my opinion i would prefer wrath of the machine to be brought back just because wrath of the machine was my favorite raid in all of destiny in my opinion it is not hyped up enough it is underrated low-key best mechanics most fun raid coolest looking raid i mean siva is just cool in general so having a raid based around siva and then having a raid based around siva in destiny 2 like that's crazy i'm getting if that comes out if Wrath, I'm telling you this now, if Wrath of the Machine comes out this year, I am doing day one. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how long I have to stay up. I, I mean, like, I, I almost lost faith with, um, you know, um, the raid for Lightfall, uh, Ron. But, like, I didn't because I wanted the emblem and I wanted to know that I could get done with day one. That was my first day one, by the way. I've never actually attempted a day one. I mean, I've tried, but I, like, usually don't care because I just do the raid, like, when reset happens. But Ron was my first day one completion. And I, I know that I can complete a day one. However, Root of Nightmares is an easy ass raid. So maybe that's why I got it done. But like, I know Wrath is going to be a hard raid. And I know they're going to make it too hard. And I hope they don't do the same thing they did with King's Fall. Because King's Fall was way too hard. And they had a cool ass emblem for day one. And I got so pissed. I was going to grind that raid all season. I loved it. It was like, King's Fall's good. But I didn't get the emblem, so I lost motivation. And I already know Wrath of the Machine is going to have a fucking sick emblem. I mean, in Destiny 1, all the Wrath of the Machine emblems are sick. And then, like, what they could do with shaders, they could bring back Wildfire. I mean, that would be awesome. A like, glowing shader in Destiny 2. I mean, Bungie should just start doing that. I know a lot of the shaders are really pretty, and I feel like people don't really give much credit to Bungie for how pretty the shaders are. And people want just basic things like all black, which, I mean, that's understandable. I want an all black shader. I want an all white shader. But I feel like you do need to give Bungie credit for these, like, cool shaders. Like, especially with Iran. They're, they're beautiful and aesthetic and they're pearlescent. It's like, you know, of course we want cool shaders. But I just think they need to bring back some sort of, like, glowing point shaders. Kind of like Glowhu, you know, Weldfire. And, uh, that's, I mean, that's all I can think of right now. But those are some good, good, good-ass shaders. And having that in Destiny 2 with how Destiny 2 looks compared to Destiny 1 is amazing and just having wrath or leviathan back you know would be just would be 
like icing on the cake for this year. I know like Lightfall was bad and people didn't give much credit, but I feel like the seasons leading up could be good if they play their cards right. And Bungie knows that they they could make a lot of people happy if they brought back Wrath. Because, you know, they're always, like, denying Steve and denying its place in the story. But if it's just bringing it back as a legend raid, it doesn't matter. It's not part of the story, you know? I know I'm talking a lot, and I do want to apologize for that. I just, this is mostly just a ramble video. And, like, wanted to get my um, thoughts out on, like, you know, the next legend raid that comes out. If anything, if they bring back Crota, I'm I'm, I'm going to delete the game, bro. I swear to God, they bring back Crota for a raid. I'm, I mean, unless they make it, like, really cool. Don't get me wrong. Crota armor was amazing. And if they could bring back, like, the glowing green parts of it. And, like, when you take damage, it goes down. That Like, that'd be super cool. I loved the Crota, the Crota set. It's just the raid was kind of boring. Just because how easy and short it was. They could. I mean, and you already know a lot of people are saying, like, bring it back as a dungeon. But I feel like, yeah, that could be good. But they need to do it on a season that dungeons come. So, like, if they're going to do it, they need to do it next season or the last season of the year. Preferably the last season of the year just because, you know, I want some new content. But I think, you know, it, it would be really interesting to see Crodat back as a dungeon. Just, like, if they could change the mechanics up to make it a three-man activity, that would be pretty sick, in my opinion. I also think that if they brought back Leviathan, they should consider bringing back the other Leviathan raids and, like, Scourge of the Past and, like, other Destiny 2 raids. Just bring them back. I know they said, you know, we're, contact vault we're content vaulting it because they're large raids and, like, the underbelly of the Leviathan is huge, all that. Loading time, whatever, bullshit. Of course, we're gonna have that in a game. But I'd rather have more content than... I'd, I'd rather have more content to play with rather than having less content just so I load in, like, a second faster. Like, load into, like, fucking the Cosmodrome 20 seconds faster. I mean, that, that is a lot. Like, 20 seconds. I, I think that's, like, not a good um, example. But you know what I mean. Um, you know, people want these things back. And I feel like Bungie isn't taking into consideration, like, you're taking content away from us that we did love. And I know I'm, like, a little late on this debate just considering, you know, this it was change was like in 2020 we got rid of all you know the old raids but scourge of the past one of the most loved raids in destiny 2 just because how fun it was like the sparrow race the sparrow part with the uh solar servitor like that was fun and then you like you know um all the in my opinion all the leviathan raids were really good maybe not spire just because it was really hard but like it was fun as well eater of worlds could be like it's a raid layer they could bring it back as a dungeon as well like that could work as a dungeon 100 percent. like that would be fun that would be a fun dungeon you have three sides in the uh final boss you could have all three people doing their own thing you know the jumping puzzle part they can make that you know you only need three people to get through it instead of six and they could bring back all the leviathan raid armor having prestige beyond master i think in general they need to bring back master cosmetics so like with the master raids there should be cool ass armor like you know prestige leviathan was way cooler like the armor was way cooler than the original leviathan armor i think with val they could do that so like they could do a lot of stuff i'm, I'm not just saying val they could do that with wrath the machine if they brought back wrath prestige or master wrath would be like there would be siva flying around like nanos it would be the other uh version of the um, wrath armor like the um i forgot what it's called because i can't think of it right now because it's been years but you had the normal one that was red and then you had the second one that was black for each thing and if you got the full black set you would get the shader for it again there's so much bungie could do and i feel like they're they're i, I don't i, I don't want to say game developing is hard and don't hate on me for just like giving my opinion but there's a lot that they could do and they know that they just need to spend more time and stop cutting corners because you know they are they are cutting corners bungie is known for doing that and so is so many other game developers i'm not just saying bungie in general i'm saying i'm saying a lot of five star game companies start to cut corners and maybe not just because of profit but because it's not worth the time they know that they will get the same review they'll also get the same player player count but in general you're like you want more like a better experience for the game so focus on what the players want if we want Siva, I feel like you should develop that into the story as little as possible, even if it like it doesn't fit in at all after the Light and Dark Saga. Like bring it back. Like bring it back as just something small. It doesn't have to be its own saga. Just bring it back as something like 
a short little campaign like Rise of Iron. I mean, like, it could be super fun. And I don't know why you call me a Siva dick rider. I see you in the comments, people. Like, why do you call me a Siva dick rider? Siva's fire. What's wrong with Siva? Like, the fuck? Like, what? I don't understand, like, what the problem is. Siva's super cool. Like, I mean, it, it's like red and black nanotechnology that is basically just cancer. And it looks cool as fuck. Like, you can't lie to me and say it doesn't. Like, it, it looks amazing. It, it's like... Siva is probably one of the coolest things Bungie has ever made into the game. And it's crazy because Rise of Iron was just supposed to be filler content to hold us long enough before Destiny 2 came out. And not only did they put in a lot of effort into a campaign that wasn't even supposed to be significant to the story at all, but they also brought in something that the Destiny world needed. This new entity that, you know, was created by one of our closest like creations like Rasputin and we were turned on our own creation showing the effect of having these AI the effect of having this AI with a specific code if you didn't know like what SIVA is the three main code bases for it is consume enhance replicate and if you give that like it's the same thing as like um, gray goo I don't know if you've heard of that before in your life it's a very plausible thing it's the idea that AI could instantly just reproduce with itself or not that's a weird word i don't know why i said that just replicate with its like just replicate pretty much infinitely and it should enhance itself and you know like take over the world that's what siva is and even though in the lore light cuts through siva maybe siva will enhance the point where light cannot cut through it and maybe we can bring back like we could we could have this thing i i, I know i'm like going on like this whole rabbit trail right now and i'm sorry i just like want to give my whole mind i just want to give my whole mind in this whole video bungie could introduce like robotic or technological subclasses like rasputin siva i don't even vex vex stuff that would be so fucking cool and you know they could do that they know that would be like just amazing i know people don't want more subclasses but like what, what else would you add another class like another class in general i mean maybe i mean i just wouldn't think that would work i, I mean if anything bungie it's their game they can do what they want they don't have to listen to anything we say we don't I mean, they don't owe us anything at all. So, once again, like I'm saying, I, I'm not hating on Bungie. I love Bungie. The game is amazing. Destiny 2 is amazing. Do not get me wrong. I love this game. I've been playing it since I was 7 years old um, when Destiny 1 came out, you know. And I, my whole YouTube channel is based around Destiny. And I just, I, I put a lot of effort and emotion into these videos because I do feel, like, really strongly about this game, if that makes sense. I know this whole video was just ramble and in the thumbnail i was just talk i said i was talking about just like you know leviathan but i went on like a lot of different rabbit trails and i hope that you found that interesting i hope you could relate if you did not you know leave your opinions in the comments i'll completely understand i promise i love all your opinions and i read all the comments and i like all the comments unless you're hating which i might um heart your comment if you're hating i'm just kidding don't hate don't hate i'll cry but on a serious note thank you all so much for watching this video if you're still watching you are amazing and you deserve everything you deserve so much thank you for listening to what i had to say it really does mean a lot and if you get to this point in the video i want you to leave in the comments i want you to say golden golden siren just say golden siren i don't even know why just say golden siren in the comments people are gonna be really confused and you know they're that's how you know they didn't watch the whole video but thank you guys so much for watching i will see you all on the next video Make sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. And um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's it.